an object from another star right now, 3i Atlas, a system, is tearing through our solar system, doubling in brightness every few weeks and building a green cloud half a million kilometers across as it barrels toward Mars. Astronomers anticipated a flicker. Instead, 3i Atlas now shines six times brighter, confounding predictions. Telescopes on Earth are sparking urgent debate over what's really fueling this outburst. The nucleus has become agitated, sunlight gaining access to the alien ices or something stranger entirely. With the nearest approach to Mars weeks away, Earth's view is about to vanish into the sun's glare and the race to find the truth before 3 i Atlas slips beyond our reach is on. What's driving this unprecedented display? And what secrets lie inside that luminous coma at this moment? Atlas is approximately to astronomical units from the sun. That's twice as far from Earth as from our star, or about 300 million kilometers away. Its velocity is staggering, currently traveling at nearly 60 kilometers per second and still accelerating. By the time it swings closest to the sun at the end of October, that speed will peak near 68 kilometers per second. That's significantly more than twice as fast as any planet in the solar system and enough to cross from Earth to the moon in just over an hour. On the brightness scale, 3i Atlas currently reaches magnitude 12. That number might not mean much at first glance, but specifically, it positions the comet well below the threshold for human vision, which is magnitude 6 unimpeded. Magnitude 12 is about 250 times fainter. Even experts in backyard observation require at least a medium-sized telescope to spot it, and only under dark skies. Yet, despite these challenges, its apparent brightness has been climbing much faster than any model predicted. The coma, the cloud of gas and dust enveloping the nucleus, has grown explosively. Recent measurements suggest it now spans several hundred thousand kilometers, rivaling the diameter of Jupiter. That expansion is not just a visual spectacle. It's also an important reason why telescopes are picking up more light from the comet than expected. As the coma grows, more sunlight is reflected and scattered, boosting the object's measured brightness, even if the solid core itself stays hidden. Every major survey and observatory is tracking these numbers. The Atlas team, which first spotted the object in early July, logs each new position and brightness update, beating trajectory models in real time and alerting the minor planet center of any sudden changes. With the Mars flyby and perihelion both on the horizon, these hard metrics distances, speed, brightness set the baseline for everything that follows. 3i Atlas defied expectations with a surge in brightness. The light curve, which astronomers use to track how an object changes from bright to dark over time, veered sharply away from the predicted path. This wasn't a subtle uptick, it was a jolt that set off a flurry of debate across professional and amateur astronomer circles. At the heart of the puzzle is the comet's coma, the immense, expanding cloud of dust and gas surrounding its hidden nucleus. As the coma grows, it reflects and scatters more sunlight, making the entire object appear brighter in telescopes. By early October, the window for observing 3i Atlas from Earth is closing fast. Each evening, the comet dips lower into the twilight, pressed ever closer to the glare of the sun. The angle between 3i Atlas and the sun, which astronomers call solar elongation, shrinks below 30 degrees by October 21st. That's the threshold beyond which the largest ground-based telescopes struggle to divide the comet's light from the sky's overwhelming brightness. For most of the world, the practical viewing window has already narrowed to a sliver of time just after sunset. With the comet barely clearing the horizon before vanishing into the haze, amateur networks are scrambling to capture usable images. Online forums fill with reports of failed attempts and rare successes as observers race against the advancing darkness. Some teams oversee global campaigns, delegating observation duties from one longitude to the next in a relay, hoping for just a few additional frames prior to the conjunction blackout. Dedicated professional observatories, bound by stricter safety limits for their sensitive optics, have already begun to pull back. 
The risk of damaging equipment by pointing to close to sunlight is real, but few are willing to miss that opportunity. The urgency is not just about lost photographs. As 3i Atlas passes behind the sun from Earth's perspective, there will be a complete data blackout, no direct measurements, no spectra, and no way to monitor changes in the structure or brightness for astronomers. That means every observation prior to October 21st is essential. The geometry of the solar system itself is shutting the door and the comet will slip out of reach just as it approaches its busiest period. The only hope for continued monitoring will come from assets out of Earth's view, a problem that now lands squarely on the shoulders of Mars circling spacecraft. Mars becomes the only outpost with a front row seat to 3i Atlas. As Earth-based telescopes go dark in the sun's glare, the focus shifts to a fleet of orbiters circling the red planet. Each mission brings a different set of eyes. The European Space Agency's Mars Express, with its high-resolution stereo camera and Omega spectrometer, can capture both images and chemical fingerprints from millions of kilometers away. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter equipped with NOMAD and ACS spectrometers. Most robust datasets, those with the cleanest, widest coverage of the spectrum consistently display that the visible is dominated by C2 emission coma. The chemistry here is more than just a visual effect. The Swift Solar has a speed of three atlases. Radiation is slamming into fresh ices and dust at an accelerated rate, peeling off volatile molecules and mixing them into the coma. As a result, the green color isn't just a marker for carbon. It's a real-time indicator of how quickly the comet's surface is changing as it races toward the sun. A growing number of observers have started to notice something odd about Three Atlas's appearance, a faint sunward feature stretching back toward the sun itself. This fictitious tale goes against most people's expectations from a comet where dust is usually swept away from the sun by radiation pressure, forming a classic tail that points outward. In the case of 3 Atlas, the geometry and the physics are conspiring to flip the script when a comet races through the inner solar system at extreme speeds. As 3 Atlas moves, dust grains ejected from the nucleus can actually move ahead of the comet's path, especially if they're large or electrically charged. From Earth's perspective, these particles can project a slender sunward spike in anti-tail, visible only when the viewing angle lines up just right. Plasma physicists point out that the rapid expansion of the coma, combined with the comet's high velocity, creates a complex environment where electromagnetic forces rival gravity. Charged dust grains caught between the solar wind and the comet's own outflow can be focused into narrow streams. These sunward features are not eternal, they depend on the interaction between charge, grain size, and the ever-changing direction of sunlight. The effect is heightened by the singular observing geometry at the end of September when Earth is placed in orbit by three atlas, almost in the plane of its dust sheet. So far, reports of a sunward anti-tail on three atlas remain sketchy. Amateurs and some professional teams have flagged possible hints, but no peer-reviewed images or precise measurements have been published. The phenomenon itself is not new to comet science, but its appearance on an interstellar object at these speeds is rare. At the moment, the anti-tail adds another layer of intrigue to an already unpredictable visitor, hinting at the complex dust plasma physics at play as three atlas barrels toward the sun. Every comet that visits our solar system brings its own quirks, but three atlas stands out even among the few. The first to interstellar visitors, Tuai, Borisov, and Amuamua set the bookends for what astronomers expected. Amuamua, discovered in 2017, was a dry, cigar-shaped object, no visible coma, no tail, just a tumbling fragment that passed through the inner solar system almost unnoticed. Three years later, Tuai, Borisov showed up with all the hallmarks of a classic comet, a bright coma with a blue tint, a typical dust trail, and a chemical signature dominated by water and cyanide. Much like the icy wanderers that orbit the sun every few centuries, three Atlas, though, refuses to fit neatly into either category. 
Not only is its coma extensive, but it's unusually green because of the strong diatomic carbon emission not seen at this intensity in most solar system comets. The sudden increase in brightness six-fold above prediction has no parallel in either Aumuamua's muted passage or Borisov's steady rise. And while Borisov's tail streamed away from the sun as expected, three atlas hints at a sunward anti-tail, a feature more familiar from the rarest comets in the solar system but nearly unheard of in objects from interstellar space. Even among recent comets like C, 2025R2, Swan, and a newcomer, Sixelmon, each of which displayed bursts of activity, 3 Atlas is in a class by itself. Its speed, chemistry, and unpredictable behavior force astronomers to reconsider the limits between homegrown comets and those forged in distant planetary systems. For classification teams, the challenge is more than just assigning a label. Each anomaly in three atlases' playbook is a window into physical processes that may have shaped small bodies across the galaxy. The stakes are high. Every new measurement has the potential to append decades of assumptions about what it means to be a comet and what stories these visitors can tell about the worlds they abandoned. As it arrives at perihelion, three atlas will begin to fade, likely much faster than it brightened. Most designs predict a sharp drop in apparent magnitude as the comet speeds away from the sun, its coma shrinking and dispersing into the dark. For anyone hoping to catch a glimpse, the requirements only get steeper. A telescope with a mirror of at least 20 centimeters becomes the bare minimum, and only then will digital cameras with the highest sensitivity pick up more than a faint smudge. Visual observers will be outpaced by the swift retreat of the comet, while stacking and careful background subtraction will be essential for keeping track of any ongoing activity. The practical side of comet watching now shifts to online dashboards and coordinated programs. Citizen science networks built around Discord servers and others hosted by established organizations provide near-real-time updates on the comet's position, brightness, and morphology. These platforms collect raw data from backyard telescopes across the globe, process it through shared pipelines, and post light curves that can be followed by anyone. For many, it's the first time a truly interstellar object's history is being recorded by amateurs in almost real time. The stakes for science don't end with the fade. Every new data point, each light curve, each spectrum, each disputed detection feeds into a bigger puzzle. How do interstellar comets behave as they pass through a solar system so different from their birthplace? What might their chemistry, their dust, and their fading light teach us about the elements that shaped the galaxy's planets? The inquiries now extend beyond the observing field, inviting anyone with a laptop, a telescope, or even just curiosity to join the search for answers as three atlas slips back into the dark. Earth-based perspectives are diminishing after October 21st due to superior conjunction. The October 3rd Mars flyby becomes the last opportunity for close-range, multi-instrument observations. No detailed mission schedules for Mars orbiters have been released, resulting in knowledge gaps about upcoming data. Compared to Amuamua and to I, Borisov, three atlas displays a mix of comet-like and atypical features. What happens as it rounds the sun its composition, fade rate, and structural behavior will inform future studies of visitors from other stars. For now, the true nature of three atlas remains an open scientific question, grounded in hard-won evidence and awaiting its next close encounter.